welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal. Yay! Today we are doing a makeover on my IKEA furniture. You guys probably see it in the back of all my videos. It's where I keep all my shoes. And I saw a viral TikTok on kind of how to make over and redo it with mirrors and poles and all that good stuff. So I'm kind of using a little bit of their inspo, elevating it and adding some other really amazing features. So if you would like to see that, keep watching this video. So here we go. Here is my Ikea bookshelf. It's still in pretty darn good condition. Um, I just want to vamp it up a little bit. So currently this is holding my 500 bins of shoes. And these bins are not too old, but my cat has destroyed them. I'll show you a close up. As you can see, he thinks it's funny to use this as a scratching post even though I have a six foot cat tower. So I'm still gonna use these, but we're gonna cover them up. So first I'm just gonna clean everything off and then we will start with sanding it. And I'm just gonna use a sanding block and rough it up as much as I can. Now I'm using these alcohol wipes. They're just water and alcohol, so they won't put a film on it and it'll still get off all the dust and clean it off. And also it won't um, make the wood super wet so we can get to work priming faster. Now this is all dry, cleaned off, dust free. I'm going to start with my Kills 3. Interior, exterior, heavy duty, high hide, sealer, and stain blocker. It's exceptional adhesion and durability. So apparently this is supposed to be really good for a primer. Try to cover up as much as I can of the dark and hopefully the dark won't show through so it'll be less coats of the paint I'm gonna do after. I roughed it up as much as I could. It took me about an hour to sand it down. And now we're ready to go. I'm so excited for this to be white. I'm so over dark wood because it clashes with my kitchen which I cannot change, so. This is actually really thick for a primer. I'm kind of shocked. I feel like usually they're a bit more watery. Always use your stir stick and stir it up as best as you can in case any of it has separated or settled. Down here I have a plastic bag and I'm gonna put this down on the ground. So there's my little setup. I put the drop cloth down. Wow, this cover is really good. This is definitely not like the regular primers. This stuff is definitely the premium one. Yay! This was only $10 and Amazon mailed it to me and it had these like special little clips so it wouldn't open. No spills, no mess, no nothing so I'm very happy about it. these corners and then putting it on these teeny little spots make dents in the roller so I'm gonna have to just do these and then go back and do the other so it will be more even roll when I get to the flat parts again and it also puts a bunch of extra paint on the side that I'm gonna have to make sure is evened out otherwise you'll see little um, like drip looking things. This already looks so much better. <laughs> Hello. And also this primer has no smell, so that's really good. The other paint that I was using that you didn't need a primer literally was so toxic. I had a headache for weeks and I had to throw it out. Well, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, but it was a catastrophe. So I did two coats of the primer. It is like 10.30 at night. I have an early call time. I'm gonna give this a couple days. I want it to properly adhere to it and have the best possible outcome and not flake off. So I will see you guys in a couple days. And I took a shower. I have paint everywhere. So I got all this primed and ready to go for the paint. But I realized after flipping it over and having to do these edges, I need to be able to put 
these on first before we get to the shiny glossy coat of white paint. I got furniture legs. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so cute. I feel like I'm gonna have to put these on first because of flipping it over and screwing them in and all that stuff. I don't want to risk ruining the top of the shelving unit. I don't want to scratch anything. So I feel like the safest bet for a flawless finish will be putting these on first. You gonna help me? You gonna help me put them on? Okay, fine. He doesn't want help right now. So I will do it myself and we are gonna screw these on. So let's get started on that. So I got these on Amazon. They are not perfect. These are like two or three of them that I ordered. Super cheap, definitely not perfect, but they will do fine for what I wanna do. They came with screws. I found a drill bit slightly smaller than the screw, so now I'm gonna use that to pre-drill some holes. I opted for using three screws instead of just two for optimum security and stability. Now I'm going to start on the top coat, the glossy latex paint. I'm so happy this painting is finally done. It is now dry. It looks so good. It took like three, four coats, but I did small, small, thin coats so you wouldn't have any dripping or any abnormalities um, happening. And I was very particular and went very slow. So I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And I know you guys are probably like, yes, Crystal, there's already a white lacquer, beautiful, shiny one like this that they sell at Ikea. I didn't want to just buy another one and throw this one away. I wanted to reuse and recycle something I already had and I'm painting this one and also painting my other furniture. I wanted to make kind of a matching set, so this is gonna be the same paint as the rest of my furniture is gonna be. So that's why I wanted to transform this and just use what I had, instead of just buying a new one and being wasteful. So, now let's see, what else do we have? Oh. Anyways, oh, real quick, um, hi. This curling iron in my last video, if you didn't see that, I'll link that above. Um, does curls too. I didn't think it would, but it did this curl really quick. So the best straightener in the whole entire world does curls too. Very exciting. Okay, moving on. And I'm drinking sake, not wine today. Very exciting. Okay, so for the second part of the video, or third, whatever, how many parts this is going to be, um, we are taking these ugh, old baskets with all my shoes <laughs> and stuff in them. <laughs> I have so many shoes. I don't want to talk about it. So I don't ever get to wear them. I didn't want to throw these away. I only had six of them. And then the second two were like this. And we wouldn't be able to do this project and adhere the mirrors to this one. So I did go to Ikea and I picked up ones that were actually like about an inch or so bigger, which will give me a little bit more room for more shoes. Um, so I did end up picking up four of these. They come in a couple different colors, but they didn't have any besides this and some other ugly color, but you're not gonna see it anyway. Let me close this before I stab myself. Oh, these are cute. These are, eh, that'll give me a lot more room for shoes. Okay. So this is 13, 13 by 15, and that is just like 12 by 12. So I will definitely have more room, but that will go all the way to the end of this. That's the 15 long. And then we are going to take our mirror. I got the mirror, and these are going to be our new front, and I will show you how I'm going to do all that. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. So I picked these mirrors up at Hobby Lobby, and what I love is that they have a beveled edge, and these are a little bit less than the 13 by 13. They say they're 13 inch by 13 inch, but they're actually a smidge less. 
So that is going to fit literally perfectly in here and you won't see any of the shoes or anything else that might overflow the baskets. That's what trouble I was having before because these were only 12 by 12 and you had extra and you could see all the shoes spilling out and that was really ugly. So this is gonna go in here, nicely fit, and then I'm gonna put a handle on it so I can pull them out. Most places only sell the 12 by 12, so if you have the exact uh, Ikea shelf that I have, I know they sell these at Walmart and other places, so just take measurements to try to get it to almost the exact measurements so you have a nice flush fit and it'll look more expensive and won't look like you did a DIY, even though you are doing a DIY. I'm at Hobby Lobby and they are 50% off and they have eight of them left. I'm so happy. Yay. These are the nice beveled edge, pretty ones. I also picked up at Hobby Lobby some of this Gorilla Glue in clear and this is the non-foaming kind and it's water resistant. It should adhere to virtually everything. So hopefully this will work for us. So let's get into gluing this all down and putting on the knobs. I love how these mirrors have a beveled edge. It makes them look more expensive and fancy. Take off the annoying foam pieces on the back. Before we start gluing, we are going to take a piece of paper. I just got one from the 99 cent store because it is big enough to trace our mirror. And like I said, do this before you do the gluing on because you won't have any mirrors to trace from. It'll be a lot harder, so just do this before. And then we are going to fold our paper in half and then fold again. And then cut that middle piece out. And that is going to be the middle to know where exactly to place the knob. I'm just gonna try to pull the fabric, get the Ikea ones, pull the fabric as tight as you can inside. And then this is the front. And then you want the mirror to be flush on the ground and then you want it kind of as straight as you can in the middle. It's gonna go right there. So I got a damp cloth because it says to wet any non-coarse surfaces. I mean, this doesn't really wet though, so I don't know. I guess this will work. I'm literally just doing what the direction said. Gorilla. I feel like I want to put the Gorilla Glue though directly on here so we can get glue only where we want it to be so we don't want it to slide around so I'm just gonna apply a generous amount of glue to this hopefully that's straight Ugh, this is kind of harder than I thought and then it says it wants us to put weight on it. So I will put something on that to make it adhere and that's gonna sit there with weight on it for 24 hours. So here we go with the 12 by 12. I'm going to pull this piece off so it'll sit more flush. And then this one comes out and then this folds like that. We'll do that weird wet thing. I want to check it and make sure. See, like, look how much bigger this mirror is than the box. It's way, way, way bigger. So I'm glad I put the glue on this rather than the mirror. But I want to make sure that this is on the ground. So when I put shoes in it, it doesn't rip it down. I stacked them underneath and used these baskets to weight them down overnight. And they're ready to get the knobs on them. Here's the knobs, they come in a pack of 10. They have little screws if you wanted to do something like that with another kind of project. For this one, we don't need any of those other hardware screws. We just need that flat little part like that, and that's gonna go in the middle. So 
to prep, I'm gonna use my alcohol wipes once more. Get off all, ah, get off all the greasy fingerprints I put on it while I was applying it to the basket. So I tried a couple with this and I didn't like this for putting on the knobs. It is way too uh, like runny for this. I'm gonna use the E6000, it works a lot better and these won't slide around when we set them. The little template we did earlier, we are going to place this in the middle. We are just gonna use this as our guide. We're gonna put one teeny little drop just to mark it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's that little mark right there of the glue. I'm gonna put a teeny bit in the hole and then just a tiny, tiny bit on the rest of it. You don't wanna to put too much cause then it'll squish out the side. Less is more in this case. And then I'm just gonna stick this right on. Nice and stuck already. And you're just gonna let that dry. Gonna let them sit and dry overnight. Now that this is all dry and looking fabulous, um, I looked up some decorative corner protectors and I found these really, really pretty things. They pretty much match the theme of the legs I put on, so I'm so excited. They were $5 and some change for 20 of them. I only need four, so I'm gonna do some other projects later. They also come with the nails, so there's a the bag of them. I'm going to show you how I'm gonna put them on. We are almost done with this project. It's been days, I mean days. I made sure this was dry. I didn't want any mess ups or anything coming apart doing this project too fast. So crazy things have happened during the making of this video. <laughs> that toxic paint that I was gonna get rid of, I went to take out my trash and it fell over onto my feet because the trash can hit it over. Big catastrophe and it literally fell out, the top came off and spilled all over my feet, my hands, and all over two of my kitchen rugs. So that was a good time. And plus that was a toxic paint. So I was literally trying to hold my breath and like try to wipe it up with <laughs> my kitchen <laughs> rugs. Really bad. I got that out, threw it away. Thank goodness um, that paint is out of my life because that has caused headaches since like August. Don't ever use that diamond hard paint, I'll show you what it looks like. Don't ever use that paint. Really good paint, really effing toxic. Don't use it. Don't fall for the scam. <laughs> Anyways, also other thing, I was painting another coat on top <laughs> and I hit the roller into the wall and tried to finish this off to make this perfect and it dried a little too much on the wall. So then I like scrubbed it off really good and then realized it wasn't the white paint that I had scrubbed to the white part underneath here. So last night I spent the night until midnight repainting the wall. So now today <laughs> we have a fresh coat of paint on the wall. We have a nice fresh coat <laughs> on top of here. And all the paint is cleaned off my floor and we're ready to finish this project. Get all my shoes back in the buckets and let's finish this off because I'm tired of my apartment being a cluster F of shoes and stuff everywhere. I'm ready to get organized and have this look fabulous. Let's try this again with tweezers because my nails are too long. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Now we are gonna take these and fill them back up with shoes. Obviously they are glass. They do have to have a little extra care, but if it's cute, I'm not worried about being extra careful with my shoe bins. All these back in here. I have so many shoes, I don't even wear all this stuff. You guys have no idea. Like. How many clothes and how many shoes I actually have. I haven't done any fashion stuff on this channel yet, but that is actually coming in like one or two um, videos. I have a huge haul coming, so that should be fun, even though I have nowhere to wear them, but whatever.
obsessed with this transformation. I'm so excited how it turned out. It turned out better than I thought it was going to. I am loving the little details and the handles and the overall light and airy feeling it gives my apartment. I love that it is raised now because before it was kind of a dark little lower piece in the side of my apartment. Now it is like elevated. It's standing out and looking fabulous. When the sun comes in, it hits the mirror and gives extra light into the rest of my apartment because my apartment is super dark. Cannot wait to move. Let's just put that into the universe. I'm gonna move pretty soon and I'm gonna get the egg chair and I'm gonna have a fabulous um, new apartment, so. And then randomly on Facebook Marketplace, I found this pompous grass for $15. Super excited about that. Definitely changing this up a little bit. I might end up painting these white. I don't know. I'm going to live with it a couple days and see how it goes, but I'm probably going to end up painting everything that's black in my apartment white. As always, hope you guys like this video. Boop that little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Subscribe if you forgot and haven't. Hope you are subscribed. Yeah. Leave us a comment. Love to hear what you thought about this. And it is my birthday on Sunday. I'm going to celebrate. Go to San Francisco. It's going to be awesome. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!